Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to SST classes, guys. In the last video, we were discussing about the major dynasties related with ancient India till twelve hundred common era. Means about Mauryans, Song dynasty, Satyanas, Rajputas, Pratiharas, Pal. After that. the sub kushan and who okay and after completing the discussion here in this video we are going to discuss about the second phase of indian history and this phase is related with tally sir especially with the muslim invaders and muslim rulers okay means the muslim rulers who invaded india and finally Establish their empire in India. Okay, so guys, the first Muslim invasion on India was in six hundred and thirty-six common era. Means in six hundred and thirty-six common era, the Muslim army, army of Amr Khalifa, or you can say that the army of Khalifa made the first. Overseas invasion on India, and the invasion goes on Thane. Okay, situated in Maharashtra. So the first invasion of the Muslims was on Thane, but this was an unsuccessful invasion. After that, again they invaded the region of Bharoj. The region of Bharoj. in india means the port area situated in gujarat was invaded by the arabians by the muslim army but in this invasion also they were unsuccessful and as per the inscriptions related with chachna in this invasion the muslims face a great loss means a lot of muslim soldiers were killed along with muslim military command okay after that the first successful muslim invasion on india was in 712 common era under the leadership of muhammad bin qasim muhammad bin qasim He made the invasion on Sindh region. Okay. In this invasion, the ruler of Sindh, Dahir, a Hindu ruler, bravely faced Muhammad bin Qasim. But suddenly, one arrow struck in his neck, and in this way he died. Okay, but due to the struck of um, the arrow mohammed bin uh, sorry dahir died and in this way the region of sin finally fall into the hands of arabians okay but the victory of sin was not a mean for the establishment of muslim rule over india okay and guys in this chapter many times we will discuss about jazira text So, guys, the first evidence of Jazira text in India is related with Sindh. Means, first of all, Jazira text was imposed in Sindh by Muhammad bin Qasim. Is that clear? After that, Mahmud Ghaznavi invaded India, but he faced a tough struggle from the rulers of Kashmir, Anand Pal and Jaipur. After that, Muhammad Ghori invaded India. But he was also defeated by Prithviraj Chauhan many times. Means many times Prithviraj Chauhan defeated Muhammad bin Ghori. Two major battles are there related with Prithviraj Chauhan and Muhammad bin Ghori. Means two major battles took place between Prithviraj Chauhan and Muhammad bin Ghori. Battle of Tarain first and Battle of Tarain second. In the first battle of Tarain, Prithviraj Chauhan. defeated mohammed bin ghori but in the second battle of the rain due to some reasons 
Prithviraj Chauhan was defeated by Muhammad bin Ghori and in this way Muhammad bin Ghori appointed Qutbuddin Abbas as his governor in Delhi which we can say that first of all at the time of Muhammad bin Ghori any Muslim commander ruled over the region of Delhi means we can say that the region of Delhi Punjab and Lahore was under the control of Muhammad bin Ghori and in this way under the control of his governor Qutbuddin Ab Muhammad bin Ghori died in 1206 common era and in this way his flag Qutbuddin Ab started a new dynasty in India and that was the beginning of Muslim rule in India or we can say that that was the beginning of Delhi Sultanate in India okay so in this way we can say that the first muslim ruler who ruled over delhi was qutbuddin ahmed okay and the dynasty related with qutbuddin ahmed is known as yamini dynasty elbari dynasty or slave dynasty okay yamini elbari or slave Yamini dynasty Elbury dynasty and the slave dynasty Okay so guys Yamini Elbury and slave dynasty was started by Qutbuddin Abbas it was started by Qutbuddin Abbas okay in this way we can say that the rule of sultanate period was started from 1206 common era okay as Qutbuddin Abbas established his dynasty in Delhi in 1206 common era after the death of Muhammad bin Ghori so in this way the beginning of muslim dynasty in india or we can say that the beginning of delhi sultanate in india is from 1206 common era which ended till 1526 common era with the defeat of last ruler of lodi dynasty ibrahim we will discuss in the next video about that okay so in 1206 qutbuddin abbas became the ruler he is also known as laf khosh okay laf khosh is a title or we can say that it's a nickname of qutbuddin abbas qutbuddin abbas provided patronage to the famous scholar hasan nizami means hasan nizami was in the court of qutbuddin abbas now the next most important thing related with qutbuddin abbas is qutbuddin abbas constructed the first story art or we can say that the first floor of qutb minar the first floor of story art of Qutb Minar, and this Qutb Minar was constructed in the memory of famous Sufi saint Qutbuddin Bakhtiyar Kaki. Is that clear? The name is Qutbuddin Bakhtiyar Kaki. Finally, Qutbuddin Abbas died in 1210 common era. While playing chogan, he fell from the horse, and in this way he. Died in 1210 common era. So in this way, Qutbuddin Abbas is known as the founder of Sultanate dynasty. Founder of, uh, sorry, founder of the Sult uh, Delhi Sultanate. We can say, or along with that, we can also say that he was the founder of slave dynasty, Elbury dynasty, and Yamini dynasty. Okay. If we talk about these dynasties separately, then Yamini and Elbury. Yamini 
is related with Kutubuddin Akbar. Ilbari is related with Ildutnis. Okay? By uh, from his father's side, Ildutnis was related with Ilbari dynasty. Okay? Ilbari was the caste. Means he was an Ilbari Turk. Okay? So now, the next point after the ban of the next point is related with Ildus means, means after the death of Kutubuddin Abba, the next ruler of this land dynasty was Ildus means. Type Kutubuddin Abba is known as the founder of Delhi Sultanate, but the true founder of Delhi Sultanate was Ildus means. Keep these things in your mind. Make it clear. Okay. Kutubuddin Abak was the founder of Delhi Sultanate and Ildutmis was the true founder of Delhi Sultanate. Okay. So here we are going to discuss about Ildutmis who became the ruler in 1210 common land and ruled till 1236 common land. This 26 years of rules related with Ilthutmis are very important in the history of Delhi Sultanate. Okay? And that's why he is known as the true founder as the true founder of Delhi Delhi Sultanate. Okay. Now the major victories of Ildutmis. First of all, twelve hundred and twenty-three common land. Then twelve hundred and twenty-six common land. Two major victories are there related to it Ildutmis. Okay. In twelve hundred and twenty-six common era, he invaded Ranthambore or we can say that he conquered the region of Ranthambore in 1223 common era he invaded the region of Malwa and in this way conquered the Bhilapur ok so two major victories are there related with the Tudmis in 1223 common era he conquered the region of Malwa. Okay, means we can say that he invaded the region of Malwa and conquered the Villa fort. In 1226 common era, he conquered the region of Radhambur. Along with that, he also invaded the region of Jalo. Finally, Ildutmis died in 1236 common era. Except all these victories, he saved Delhi Sultanate by not providing patronage to Mangwani, son of Harijan Shah. Okay, means he didn't provide shelter to Mangwani, son of Harijan Shah, who was a rebellion against the Mongols. Means we can say that Yaduth means saved Delhi Sultanate from the enmity of Mongols, Chengiz Khan by not providing shelter to Mangwan, okay, the son of Harijansha. Now, the next point is related with the next ruler of Delhi Sultana and which was Rajya Sultana. Just after the death of Ildutmis in 1236 common era, the next ruler was Ruknuddin Firozha, okay. But Ruknuddin Firozha was assassinated and in this way, Rajya became the next ruler of Delhi Sultanate in 1236 common era. Okay, so the next ruler was Rajya Sultan. So we can the ruler in 1236 common era and ruled till 1240 common era. Okay, after that, the major things related with Rajya Sultan. Rajya Sultana was the first lady ruler of Delhi Sultanate. She was the first 
लेडी रूलर ऑफ डेली सर अलॉन्ग विद दैट सी स्टार्टेड टू बियर कॉट एंड कैप एंड इन दिस वे एनॉयड दी तुर्किस अमीज रजिया अपॉइंटेड मलिक जमालुद्दीन यादव और वी कैन से दैट मलिक जमाल यू कैन की मलिक जमाल ही हूँ ओके रजिया अपॉइंटेड मलिक जमाल एज द सुप्रिंटेंडेंट ऑफ रॉयल स्टेबल और वी कैन से दैट अमीर अहद एंड इन दिस वे एनॉइड द अगेंस्ट so malik zaman was assassinated in sind means went in sind region to cross the revolt and at the time of crossing this revolt he was assassinated by the turkish amis along with that the next point is rajya married with alhumi okay and they both were assassinated in 1214 common act is that clear so in this way the major things related with rajya are rajya was the first lady ruler of delhi sultan rajya appointed malik zaman as amir akbar means the superintendent of royal establishment because of that the turkish amirs got annoyed with her she so started to wear coat and cap because of that also they were annoyed with her along with that she neglected bell system Malik Zaman was assassinated in Sindh region while he ran there to cross that wall, and Rajya married with Altunia, and they both were assassinated in 1240 Common Era. And in this way, the first lady ruler ruled for four years. Okay, from 1236 to 1240 Common Era. Is that clear? Now, after the death of Rajya, the next ruler of Delhi Sultanate was Bahram Shah. Ruled from 1240 to 1242. After that, the next ruler was Masud Shah. Who ruled from 1242 to 1246. And the last ruler of this dynasty, or we we can say that as the successor of Ilduqmis, was Nasiruddin Mahmud, who became the ruler in 1246 and ruled till 1265. Come on. Balban played a very important role during the rule of all these three rulers. Means they all were incapable. The actual power was in the hands of Balban. Balban married his daughter with the last ruler of this dynasty. Means we can say that the last successor of Ilduqmis that was Nasiruddin Mahmud. And in this way. Enjoyed the power means actually at the time of Nasiruddin Mahmud, the actual power was in the hand of in the hands of Balban. Okay, and after the death of Nasiruddin Mahmud in 1265 Common Era, Balban became the actual power for him. Means Balban declared himself as the ruler. In this way, after the death of Ilduqmis. Balban was the next important ruler of Delhi Sultanate. Okay, the next point is related with Balban. Twelve hundred and sixty-five to twelve hundred and ninety common era. If it is mentioned twelve hundred and ninety-six common era in your book, then please change it. It is twelve hundred and ninety common era, not twelve hundred and ninety-six common era. Is that clear? Now after that, the next point. Balban was related with Chihalgan. Balban was related with Chihalgani. 
which was a group of 40 amoebas. Okay, Chiralgani was a group of 40 amoebas. Means, or we can say that 40 slaves actually. What I mean to say that is, there were 40 slaves in the court of El Dukmis and these 40 slaves were known as Chihalgani. Okay, so Chihalgani was a group of 40 slave armies present in the court of El Dukmis. And after the death of Nasruddin Mahmud, Balban declared himself as the next ruler. Okay, now the most important things related with Balban. Balban restructured the military department to confront the Mongol invasions. Okay, and this department was known as Divan Arms. Is that clear? The military department at the time of Balban was known as Divan Arms, and this department was restructured by Balban for conf confronting the Mongol invasions. Along with that, Balban started a new tradition of Sijda and Pabos. A new tradition of Sijda and Pabos was started by Balban in the Delhi court of Regan In his court, he started the new tradition of greeting like Sijda and Pabos. Sijda means boy in front of the emperor, and Pabos means Kissing the feet of the animal. Is that clear? So the new tradition of Sizda and Bebos was started by Balban. The next major things about Balban is related with his blood and iron policy. Blood and iron policy. Okay. So Balban adopted the blood and iron policy. Under this policy, he killed the man and enslaved their women and children okay so blood and iron policy means the policy of killing man and enslaved the women and children means against his rebellion means the person who revolted against Balban to cross them and adopted the policy of blood and iron I think now it, it is clear in your mind what do we mean by blood and iron policy the policy under which man were killed and women and children were Answered. Okay. Now, the next point. Balban died in 1286 common era and after the death of Balban, the next ruler of this dynasty was Fumas, who was killed in 1290 common era by Jalaluddin Khilji and in this way that was the beginning of new dynasty which is known as Khilji dynasty. Now about Balban, one thing is very important and we can say that which is very famous and that is ruling principle of Balban. The ruling principle of Balban is very famous, okay? The point is ruling principle of So which are the major elements related with the ruling principle of Balban? Guys, according to the ruling principle of Balban, he had a conception that the king was the representative of God on the earth. Means, according to Balban, the power of the king was uncontrolled because it was provided by the God. All the people should follow the rules and regulations of the are uh, made by the king because the king was the representative of God on the earth. Means it was not the rules found by the king, it was the rules found by the God. As the next point of his ruling principle, he accepted that to control the revolt, strict discipline should be adopted in the court. And according to Balban, it was the responsibility of the king to cross the revolts, theft, loot, and Robots. Okay, 
means the incidents of robbery loot and theft should be stopped by the king and along with that under his ruling principle he adopted a strict policy to crush the revolts of rajput landlords okay so in this way we can say that under the ruling principle of balmani accepted that king as the representative of god representative of god on the earth the next point is balban tried to cross the rewards means according to him it was the responsibility of the king to maintain law and order in the court in the uh, sultanate and for that he adopted the policy of crossing the rajput landlords means strictly he crossed the rewards of rajput landlords and along with that according to him it was the responsibility of the ruler to cross the theft loot and robbers means in this way the ruling principle of balban is related with maintaining strict discipline in the empire by adopting a strict policy so guys from this point means uh we can say that from this ilbari yamini or slave dynasty gulam dynasty we can uh, find many questions like who was the founder of gulam dynasty who was the founder of yamini dynasty who was the founder of delhi sultanate means uh your answer will be iltut uh, sorry kutubuddin ever after that next question like who was the true founder of delhi sultanate then answer is iltut means along with that which were the major incident related with the life of iltut means who was the first lady ruler of delhi sultanate which are the major incident related with her life along with that write a note on yamini ilbari dynasty write a note on or write a comment on write a detailed description of balban what do you know about balban explain what is the contribution of balban in the history of india and uh, along with that uh, question like why the ruling principle of balban is famous yeah what was the ruling principle of balban means different kind of questions you can find here in a uh, very short answer type questions and along with that short answer second category type questions is that clear so in this way in this video we discussed about the major rulers related with the gulam dynasty kutubuddin akbar now uh, we are going to make a recap of all the things we studied okay a fast recap of all that things first of all the first invasion of muslims over india was in 636 first successful invasion was by muhammad bin qasim in 712 over sin after that start of delhi sultanate was in 1206 common era started by qutubuddin akbar died in 1210 also known as lakh box constructed qutub qutub minar means the first uh, floor of the qutub minar and after that its construction was completed by iltutmis after that iltutmis became the ruler ruled from 1210 to 1236 common era for 26 years major victories of iltutmis 1223 malwa bela fort 1226 pranathambore along with that jalo after that rajya 1236 to 40 the first lady ruler man malik samaluddin yaqut as diwan amir koi okay along with that she was assassinated in 1240 along with her husband altumia after that the last ruler of this dynasty was nasiruddin mahmud balban became the ruler in 1265 and ruled till 1286 and the successors of balban ruled till 1290 after that a new dynasty came into being that was khilji dynasty is that clear major things about balban is ruling principle blood and iron policy restructured the military department diwan and arish and along with that started the tradition of sizda and palace is that clear so guys about the remaining things of khilji dynasty we will discuss in the next video till then stay at your home be safe 
and guys if there will be any doubt while watching this video in your mind you can write me in the comment section i will definitely help you to resolve all your doubts thank you very much have a nice day jai